Wow. Dream, dream, dream. That's crazy. Let's give it up for our, uh, our dreamy host tonight, Ryan Ferris. Us Ryans have to look out for each other. So I've been thinking a lot lately, guys. I've been thinking, you guys hear of this whole dream, this whole dream thing people are doing these days? Going to bed at night and images popping in your brain? These millennials are coming up with all crazy stuff. No, but I was looking on, I was, I've been interested in uh, lucid dreaming. Lucid dreaming, do you guys know what that is? Signal to me with an applause. <laughs> Okay, so minimal explaining for you brainiacs. It's basically, I've learned on internet forums that lucid dreaming is like when you fall asleep and you can control your dreams, you can just like become whatever you want. You can be a monkey. You can just, you can just do whatever in your dreams. It sounds crazy, but I'm sorry to tell you guys, let you down. It sounds horrible if you really think about it. If you guys have ever seen any movie where there's a ghost, lucid dreaming is how you get possessed. That is every single movie that has dreaming in it. What's that, what's that one movie with the nightmares? Um, uh, Shark Boy and Lava Girl, I heard. <laughs> that movie sounds horrible. I don't wanna... You know, I don't want to control my dreams. You know, it's so, it's so tiring. It's so tiring thinking all the live long day. And then I have to, then I have to think all night too. That's just exhausting. You know, I, 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 I can't even, what did I freaking write here anyways? I can't even think of that like crazy stuff that I would even do. If I, if I lucid dreamed, I would honestly, it would just be so boring. I would just, dream of myself sitting in my room. I would imagine like, man, what, are, what would my room look like with different colored walls? <laughs> I would change it from red to blue. I don't know, that's, I would be like, what does my sofa look like over there? <laughs> no, I like it over there more. You know, I, Dreaming, dreaming's like a whole, a whole debacle, you know? I think, I, I like my dreams to be pure. I like them to keep me on my toes. Because like, you know, if I can control my dreams, it doesn't prepare me. I live in my comfortable red room, you know? I, if, thanks to my dreams now, if, I, I had a dream one time, my, my words are all over the place. I'm just jumping around. My, <laughs> My, I had a dream where there was like a, a guy who, who, who knifed me in my basement, you know? Now, now when that happens in real life, I'll know exactly what to do. When I've had zombie dreams, now I know exactly what to do during the zombie apocalypse. I've had dreams where Harry gets stuck in a crane on the beach and I'm a dog. Now I know exactly what to do in that situation, guys. You know, I did, I did actually have a lucid dream one time. It was a few weeks ago after I begun thinking about it. Uh, it's your own thoughts. You know, it's, I, I, I had a dream, you know, and it was just two guys, they were, they were talking to me, all right? They were just, I was dreaming and they were just chatting me up. They were explaining to me like these complicated physics, like, uh, like momentum and like velocity and, Velociraptors, I don't know. They were just explaining all these complicated <laughs> physics to me. And I was like, talk, listening to him in the dream, I, I was like, this is my dream, and I don't know anything about physics, so you guys don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I am a straight man in my own dreams. <laughs> If that's not the biggest bummer, I don't know what is. I did, I did have this one, I did have a one, this one dream. It was, it was like the most vivid dream I ever had. I, 
I'm going to run it through for you guys here tonight. Did you guys like that? Yeah. Thanks. So I, I, in this dream, I'm, I'm walking, walking through the woods, you know, I'm just walking along, and I guess in this world that I'm walking through, people are, there, there are ogres in this world, they exist, and people just fucking hate them. People just hate ogres. So I'm walking through the forest, all right? I'm walking through the forest, and people, I, I'm, I'm walking, and I stumble upon a destroyed ogre village. And I'm just walking around like, what, what happened here? And I, I'm walking, looking through the rubble, and I find, I find Shrek. Shrek is just standing there, weeping, and I'm like, Shrek, Shrek, what's, what's wrong? What, what happened? What happened here? And he's like, the, the ogre racists, they came and destroyed our village. They, they took my three children. I don't know what to do, Ryan. And I said, Shrek, I'm so, I'm so sorry. That's horrible. You can, you can come stay in my house with me. You know, I just, I, I want you to be safe. So we go back to my house, and I walk in the front door, and there stands my dad. Get that filth out of my house. And I'm like, Dad, what are you saying? This is, this is Shrek. You know, he, he's just like you or I. You know, we can't, we can't, you know, like, put him out like this. He's, he's been through a lot. And my dad's like, I don't care. Ogres are, belong in the trash. And I said, Dad, you're, you're breaking my heart. Like, Dad, it's, it's, it's an ogre. It's just like us. And, and he's like, I don't care. And he, he gets so angry with me. And Shrek, that he just comes after us. He's trying to kill us. And, I, and we get in my car, and we're driving off. And my dad, he just he gets behind us, and he's driving after us. And we, we drive. And in this world, my, my dad is a penthouse. So we drive to my dad's luxury penthouse and we go all the way up to the top floor to get away with him. And we run inside and lock the door and then we're standing there and he's like beating on it and I'm like, that's not gonna hold him for long, Shrek. So we run into my parents' bathroom and then we lock that door and we're just like waiting there. We, we're like, there must be something in here that we can do, use to stop my dad from killing us. And, and we're just looking around the bathroom. We hear the beating at the door and then Shrek looks under the sink, and under the sink are <coughs> Shrek's three children that have been killed by my father. I couldn't believe it. Shrek was just like, I can't believe it. He, and then... <laughs> and he opens the window to my parents' bathroom, and she just leaps out of the skyscraper penthouse that we're in, to, and I look out the window, and there's Shrek on the ground, and I'm like, I can't believe it. the last ogre's dead. And then I woke up, and I was actually crying. <laughs> Tears running down my face, and I went, and then I went in my parents' bedroom, and I woke up and punched my dad in the face. <laughs> All right, so that's uh, that's my time. <laughs> Sit on that, guys. <laughs> <laughs>